Okay, so uh, welcome to our presentation. It's uh, some kind of a workshop, mostly, about the UX and development interaction. Uh, so it was quite a bit of a surprise for Heiko and Jan uh, that they are actually sharing this, uh, this presentation for me. Uh, so, like we were sitting yesterday in the uh, in the pub, like, and uh, Hi I told Heiko, "Well, um, do you know that we have the presentation tomorrow?" And he uh, remembered, "Okay, yes, we were talking about that." So we have quickly created a sur survey, um, like from the people that were joining our conversation there, and uh, they have some ideas, like what should the talk uh, contain. So somebody was uh, telling, like. Talk about color, like pictures, and uh, how how like uh, you bike shed about things in your design team. Um, somebody said, "Okay, well, I will avoid the show. Like it's too much uh, in the morning, and like too many people will be just having monologues there." And another one was, "How can I, can I get involved?" Which was more positive, like approach to that. Then even somebody got further, like, I'm interested in something and I want to do it, and uh, like, how can I actually get involved? Uh, so there were like, nicer sh screenshots, stuff like that. So, so like many opinions about things, many things to, to get together. Uh, so we, of course, uh, like analyzed that and created this talk based on that. So let's get a bit more serious. So I think uh, it would be good to uh, just uh, tell a few words about like what has happened uh, since the last year, um, because um, like we had already the design team last year, um, but that um, like many things has changed uh, in the meantime. Um, so like for me, um, the biggest thing that that has changed is that uh, Document Foundation now has Heiko um, as a as an employee. And so, like, we can be um, like much more serious about the uh, the design in general because, like, now we have a dedicated person for that. Like, if if there are things uh, that that need doing, uh, we have uh, somebody who has the experience, who has the uh, who has the time for that. Uh, so, like, for me, it was one of the biggest uh, achievement in the last year. Uh, Heiko was uh, was a long term um, contribution uh, contributor to LibreOffice already. Uh, so, like, he already knew all the processes, like, how to do things. And uh, um, what was very positive for me, that, uh, that he actually started running the, the design uh, meetings uh, that we have every Friday, and to which uh, you are most welcome uh, to, to come and, uh, and join uh, and, and be there. Another uh, notable, uh, notable improvement uh, that was since the last year uh, was how we were handling uh, the Google Summer of Code, uh, because um, in the in the past years uh, it was uh, it was just the developers mentoring the uh, the Google Summer of Code, uh, but like sometimes it was on the on uh, like based on the ideas uh, from the design team. Uh, sometimes it was uh, just like from the developers how they thought that things should be done uh, so that they work nicely or that. They, they are done in some way. Uh, but this time, like, there was some really actual, uh, actual thing, uh, like, actual work between these two groups. So, uh, so there were projects where uh, really, um, there was a mentor from the UX team, and there was a mentor from the development team, and they just had to, to work somehow, like, very, um, very closely together so that the result is right. Uh, then, of course, um, there were lots of uh, improvements and proposals and things that have been done. Uh, so if you want to, to see the details, of course, scan the release notes, um, which actually answers uh, one, the, one of the proposals from the first slide who wanted to see the screenshots before and after. Like, release notes is the, is the place where you can see that. Um, you will see that, that uh, like, in the, in, the, in the view or in the design of LibreOffice, like, Lots of things change. Uh, lots of things changed. Um, other than that, um, the work of the of the design team. Um, there were things that that hasn't changed. So still, um, it is very important uh, in general for the for the design team um, 
to see like what will be the end result. So uh, as I like to say, like when the work is not in Git, uh, it hasn't happened. So it uh, it is so that like when you design something and uh, you just do it for the fun of doing it, that's nice, that's fine, that's okay. Uh, but you are no, not doing it like completely. Um, you still have to have in mind like how you will get it uh, into LibreOffice in the end. Uh, so uh, like. Of course, one way of doing that is uh, like actually, um, if it is, for example, um, update of some dialogue or um, you know, um, improvement of uh, of some texting or better icons or anything, then if you can do it yourself and just get it to Git or get somebody to get uh, to help you getting it to Git, that's ideal. Of course, if you uh, cannot do it, then uh, you have to have a plan like how actually achieve that that it will get into Git. So, again, some of code is uh, is very good for that. But like, if you have a friend uh, who is a developer and he's willing uh, to work with you uh, on your idea and actually apply it and uh, get it uh, get it to Git for you, awesome as well. So, just. Want to repeat? Like it's it's very important to have a um, have a plan, like how to actually get it uh, get it into into Git in the end. And uh, of course, like what we we would like to do in the future, uh, we would like increase this uh, this um, like amount of people that are actually contributing to the design team, but also applying the ideas uh, um, of of either of the design team or of. Um, of course, like if the developer has a, has an idea, like how to improve something, um, the best is to consult it with the design team. We are happy to help um, some way, um, as much as we can, and then then get it uh, get it get it implemented. I think one point that we forgot yesterday to add is uh, the contribution by uh, Yanni, the easy hacks. We increased our effort in easy hacks and uh, added a couple of easy hacks from the uh, design point of view. Very simple things that can be done without any coding experience and also try to um, uh, flag tickets in the bug tracker as easy hacks, which is quite important. And that's why uh, Yanni is. And I, I have two things. I'll start with the easy hacks, uh, as you said. When, when you have made a new wonderful dialogue, you have made the UI file in Glade and talk with the UX team, then the next thing is you need to get it implemented. And that's where you put it in Boxilla. You mark it as an easy hack, typically topic UI. Then I will see it next morning, and I will do the rest of it. I won't implement it but I'll make sure it's a proper easy hack because a lot of, especially these dialogue things, can, can be very easy to make. If you have just changed the layout, you need it added in Git, and that's it. Attach the UI to the Boxilla, and I'm sure some of our new contributors in development would be glad for an easy hack that type. Another thing is I see regularly patches in Garrett that contains UI and all of these patches as soon as there's a UI file involved or a, work, a change of workflow then it automatically goes to the UX team for evaluation. So, so it's, it's not to sort of say your work is bad, it is more that we want a consistent UI and therefore Every, every change in the UI is passed by the UI UX team. Yeah, I have a microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and uh, so, so like this way we are getting to uh, to like what is the current workflow. Uh, so from the design point of view, uh, like the two most important things are uh, like how uh, do we communicate. Uh, so, like in case there are ideas, in case uh, like there are some some concrete uh, things to evaluate, uh, as Jan said, like for example uh, the patch uh, to to check or talk about. Uh, then of course, like we have the IRC, uh, it's the LibreOffice design uh, on IRC Freenode. Uh, 
Um, we have a hangout every Friday at 2 p.m. Um, of, the, of the European time. Um, so it changes like when there is a shift from the, from the um, uh, daylight saving time uh, to not daylight saving time. Uh, we have a mailing list, a design and global LibreOffice. We have a blog uh, where we communicate like what uh, was achieved. But also, like this blog uh, communicates when there is, for example, a survey, uh, when we want to get um, like ideas from people, like what to, um, what should we do better, or like when there is a proposal to get some feedback on that, so that we can collect it and uh, and uh, get some results from that. Uh, then some people in the team. Uh, are using uh, Google Docs uh, just uh, because it's uh, it's um, somehow convenient for them, and uh, of course, like some uh, the results that that just need to be preserved in some like more uh, structured way uh, are on the wiki. Uh, but what we have forgot to get here is uh, is actually the Garrett itself uh, because lots of uh, communication uh, is happening in the Garrett uh, as well because like. When it is implemented, it, uh, it just needs to be approved. And lots of people from the design team are actually in, in Garrett um, like approving the patches or uh, posting patches as well. Um, let me uh, like, um, mention Jay and Adolfo, uh, who are very active in that. And uh, also in the Bugzilla. So in Bugzilla, uh, if you can remind like what, what, uh, what, what is the workflow in the, in the Bugzilla for the UX advice? Uh, first, uh, I wanted to add that we, of course, do also report in or discuss things in, in uh, Etherpad. Um, it is collected in the, all the other Etherpads, and from time to time we um, do some uh, discussion, not in the GDoc, but in the pad. And uh, some uh, really short polls uh, with the community are run on uh, G plus because it's uh, very easy to to ask the large LibreOffice community, which has uh, I think six thousand members, just ask the question: Do you know how to do this or that? And you get a quick response with some hundred people. It is a it supports the decision if uh, if you get a number of people to um, yeah. It's a, just another argument about the workflow and the bug tracker. <laughs> yeah, the wor workflow in Boxilla <laughs> depends on two things. If you have an idea that, that you want done, then you can add a Boxilla report, mark it as enhancement, or if it's a problem, uh, not as an enhancement, <laughs> but as a real bug. That will go through the normal workflow. The UX people will look at it, give their opinion, and at some point, it will be passed on to the developers. That is the more seldom case. We really recommend you come to IRC, you use uh, our mailing channels to discuss your ideas before you make a bug out of it. It's a lot easier for everybody. So but on the other hand, like it's it's not forbidden. Like uh, patches appre uh, appreciate it all the time. So so like if uh, if the first contribution is is a patch uh, without previous discussion, that's that's perfectly fine as well. But like of course, like it's it's better to to, to be more involved and yeah. The, the next step is you have actually made a new dialogue. I use that as an example. Yeah. You, you have changed something in the UI. Then you put it, the easiest way for you is actually to put it in Boxilla. Use the keyword, easy hack, use the keyword topic UI. Then it lands on my desk next, next morning. And what I will actually do is I'll look at it and see, has, do we have any comments from the UX team? If not, pass it to them. Otherwise, pass it uh, to the development. And typically, you will see these easy hacks are very, very interesting for developers, for new developers, because they are, sorry, pretty easy typically <laughs> to implement. And, and the new contributor can see something. If he makes a change to one of the C++, C++ classes, which I find very intriguing, but it has no effect, he can't show his friends, I made this. And the effect of I made this 
is what, what gets a lot of contributors to come in. So your easy hacks, your easy hacks in that respect is very, very welcome. And so now we are coming to the question or uh, a bit of a discussion, if we can it, have it here. Uh, so what uh, could we do better? Uh, what is your feeling or um, your um, experience with interacting with us um, as the design team? What can we do better uh, together? And stuff like that. So. <laughs> yes, Juan. Oh. Second. Just um, from the development side, I think what might be helpful for the likes of me is short kind of direction statements uh, from, from the UI team, not like a huge big document, but just a general thing such as, for example, um, toolbars aren't really where, that aren't really the future for, for LibreOffice, sidebar is, is where most activity should take place in the future, yeah, issues like that, you know, like so. We have sidebar issues, we have toolbars, we have menus. It seems to be a lot of activity mostly in moving things to the sidebar. Is that kind of where we should focus most things on? Uh, so did I understand correctly you are asking about uh, what is the direction or? Yeah, I don't mean like where's the direction of, of LibreOffice, but just like what, what as a developer we should look at for user interface stuff. So will new things go into the sidebars? Is that a direction that we're going in? Like there seems to be additional things being added to the sidebar. I mean, that seems like a reasonable direction, but is that the case? <laughs> That's a very hard question, I would say. <laughs> That's a very hard question. Uh, just, just because like uh, we in the design team uh, just um, cannot decide uh, ourselves yet. Uh, so, so, so basically, we are experimenting with uh, with many things. Uh, you can see that, for example, Jay uh, has done a lot uh, in the direction of having uh, having sidebar uh, as the main thing. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, you you could have seen it already in draw uh, that uh, sorry in in, in impress uh, that like when you are uh, when you are editing uh, some text uh, or so um, and uh, want to 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 apply um, the attributes on that. Uh, that it's in the sidebar, and uh, uh, like the main toolbar that is there, like mostly for the uh, for the operations with the document, but not not for the attributes. Uh, on the other hand, uh, like uh, there was just uh, a Google Summer of Code uh, that um, like allows you to uh, to uh, like get uh, UI files directly, uh, directly like instead of the toolbars, or even instead of the like. Uh, the, the entire toolbar and menu area, uh, which is uh, which is kind of uh, orthogonal uh, to this. So, so we are still in the face of uh, a bit of uh, experimenting. Uh, I do not have uh, any any strict view on that. Uh, but like, if if Heiko has uh, has some more strict view on that, then. Um, uh, in short, it's, it's a question that goes a little bit beyond the, the workshop here, what we can do better. It's a question about where we are uh, going or heading with the sidebar, right? We drafted a guideline, and the guideline says uh, toolbar is for uh, access for to frequently used uh, functions. You open a file from the toolbar, you save the file. One click, save, and it's gone. If you modify properties, it is nothing which has to, uh, to be located in the toolbar. Those features go to the sidebar. And I would uh, say it's also something which needs uh, to be frequently used. It, um, d for my taste, it has not been followed so frequently a part of the use thing. It is a container for properties that are changed in the document more or less frequently. So, um, if I hear some concerns from your side that the sidebar get a little bit flooded, maybe yes. Uh, I would really appreciate if we get some um, more configuration into the program. Uh, things uh, that we do with the uh, new toolbar, the extended toolbar, muffin, robin, or however you want to call it, um, you can switch easily between two or um, more uh, toolbars it's uh, workflow oriented. So if 
uh, or user oriented. If a user wants a simple toolbar, he loads this. If he wants to switch to something, uh, an expert feature, it could be done quite easily. And if you get something similar for the sidebar, it uh, expands the possibilities in a way that uh, makes everybody happy. So configurability is uh, one uh, goal in the future. Just from my side, we are, as Candy says, yeah. uh, discussing those yeah. issues. Yeah. But unfortunately, no good answer yet. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, something about like uh, more in the in the general like. Would you like us to be, like reach more to you, or you are happy with uh, like what? how we are uh, interacting with development or any change necessary or did we offend you some way? No? That's good. Good start. We accept did we make you happy up. in some way? Armin! We made you happy, so tell us about that. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, uh, maybe uh, one suggestion. You talked about uh, the workflow and people uh, talking about UI stuff, and I think there will be a lot of work talking back to them, and we want this like that, and we have some design rules. This, uh, we would like to have that stuff in the sidebars, that stuff in the toolbars. Um, how about writing that down on the wiki or something? Maybe it's already done. So you don't have to explain it to everyone every time again. So just some basic design rules. And don't call it rules. It's, it's, it sounds limiting and suppressing. So design, su design suggestions or something like yeah. best designs for LibreOffice. Or yes. what we want to do. <laughs> yes. So, so, so actually, uh, we have uh, we have uh, some kind of this document. Um, that's what one of the things uh, on which we have been working, uh, like uh, in the last year. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, like as you say, like uh, we do not want to do that that strictly. Strictly. So yeah, it is exactly. more. Uh, it is more in the direction of like uh, we have found a problem uh, that people are not decided like how to do things. Uh, so, uh, so it is uh, it is described in this. Uh, how is it called? Guidelines. 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 Yeah, guidelines. Yes. Guidelines, <laughs> guidelines, guidelines is not bad. So uh, optimal, I think, would be some pages which you read as a newcomer and you are so motivated and have not seen anything pressing you, but you you are directed in the direction you want to have. Yes, and uh, so, so like one example of the application of the di guidelines actually uh, was uh, the rework of the menus uh, because uh, like we discussed uh, that uh, like before, before Jay did the, the actual changes. Uh, so one of the visible or very visible thing in the guidelines was that uh, we have set a limit of how many things uh, can be in the menu. Uh, so that like you do not get menus that, that uh, like uh, are over the entire screen and uh, so in the menus uh, there was it was set as uh, like 20 uh, items as the maximum and then uh, then of course we tried based on the information that we had uh, so uh, mostly uh, mostly the results uh, from the from the old um, like research uh, research uh, so based on the use use uh, it was uh, like organized into the sub menus and like having that in the in the guidelines uh, very easy for us uh, uh, because then like when there was a confusion somebody told us like uh, um, you have moved my my favorite feature to a sub menu then uh, the answer was like sorry but but uh, we had it uh, in the guidelines uh, um, it was a, a decision that, that we just need to do it some way to fit uh, the 20 items. So, like, bad luck. Um, your feature is not that used as, as the other features in there. So, no. 
was uh, out of time sign. It's a pity. But uh, my reply, um, to, to get it uh, together with the development uh, team, uh, there's a discussion ongoing to improve the Get Involved page, uh, some landing page where people read information about the project, how to do things, and um, there is uh, effort planned to uh, improve the situation. And what I take from your uh, argument is that we need it for the design team as well, a Get Involved page. And it uh, could be really great to do it in a similar way that it, for, uh, for instance, have a, uh, the same branding, same look and feel. Yeah. yeah. Did you know what's mm -hmm. the, the argument? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> and how <laughs> uh, links to the developers. <laughs> great. Yeah. Cool. Good suggestion. Great suggestion. So thank you so much. So if you have anything else, please do reach us. Uh, um, the presentation contains, the, uh, contains uh, the, the details about how to contact us. So we will be very happy to hear from you. So thank you so much. <laughs>